Well, here we are on day seven of our uh, daily reflections on the Battle of Britain Remembrance. And we're going to be looking at endurance in trials. And as we reflect on, endur- on endurance in trials, we are reminded of the incredible resilience demonstrated by those who lived through the bombings uh, and the challenges of the Battle of Britain. And this was a time marked by relentless hardship, continuous air raids and construction, a destruction of homes and cities, the loss of loved ones and the, and the constant threat of invasion. And despite these taunting circumstances, the people endured with remarkable tenacity. They faced each day with a steadfast spirit, determined to survive and to support one another in any way that they could. And the endurance shown by those who experienced the war was not just a passive waiting, but an active resilience. It was the ability to keep going, to find hope and strength, even when everything around them seemed to be falling apart. And this endurance was built on the strength of community, faith, and a shared belief in a better future. It was a testament to the human spirit capacity to withstand incredible adversity and to persevere through the darkest of times. And as we look at James 1.12, it offers us a profound encouragement for those who face trials. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, the per- that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. And this verse really acknowledges the reality of trials and the difficulty of enduring them, but also points to the reward of perseverance. It reminds us that enduring hardship with faith is not in vain. There is a promise of life, a blessing for those who stand firm. So when we think about endurance, the endurance that's required during the Battle of Britain, I, we should be humbled by the strength and the resilience of those who lived through it. It, it, challenges, it should challenge us to reflect on our own lives and the trials that we have faced. There have been times when we can maybe have felt overwhelmed by these difficulties, whether they're personal struggles, health issues or other challenges. And in those moments, it has often been easier to give up or give in to despair, but reflecting on endurance of those who came before us, I am reminded of the importance of perseverance. James 1.12 encourages us to see trials not as insurmountable obstacles, but as the opportunities for growth and refinement. It reminds us that God sees us and sees our struggles, and that there is a purpose to our endurance. It is through enduring trials that our faith is strengthened, our character is developed and our dependence on God deepens. And the promise of the crown of life is not just about eternal rewards, but also about the inner transformation that takes place when we choose to to persevere with faith. So as we are reminded that endurance is often a choice, a decision to keep going, to hold on to hope and to trust in God's promises, even when the outcome is uncertain. Just as the people of uh, Britain endured the bombings and challenges with resilience, we are called to endure our own trials with the same determination and faith. And it's not easy, but we should be encouraged by the knowledge that God is with us, giving us the strength to persevere. So today, as we reflect on the theme of endurance in trials, let us be inspired by the example of those that endured the Battle of Britain with such courage and resilience. And let us remember that endurance is not about being unscathed by trials, but about choosing to stand firm in the midst of them and to let and let us hold on to the promise of James 1.12, knowing that our perseverance is not in vain and that there is a crown of life waiting for those who love God and endure faithfully. So may we find the strength and and to endure our own trials with the same spirit of resilience and hope, trusting that God is with us every step of the way.